so far what I've learned from the course is a majority of history of video games in general. Um, also with a 3D and 2D art and how it applies um, the amount of work and thinking process to put into it, the amount of research that can be involved with it, for, uh, depending on what you make and kind of that kind of stuff, and how you know how one part of the course is one single part to a big overall course in a sense that you know there's different subjects involved which you can take up and I've took up one, one particular subject in it but yeah it's definitely something really special I think. I think the actual overall knowledge of what the course provides because uh, in some areas where in the past I had um, experience with um, different game development courses from college to university where some of them they would just teach you over, overall what the whole process is. They'll teach you a bit of programming, a bit of 3D modeling, a bit of story writing, a bit of sound effects and that is it. And it's not enough. What Train to Game provides is the specialist areas, what Will, gain, will help gain you skills and qualifications into the games industry that not a, lot, not a lot of universities or colleges have really had a chance to provide yet. I would honestly recommend uh, people to at least look it up, do some research into it because there are a lot of people out there who haven't been on the course who have said bad things about it and for myself being a member inside the course I can say it's definitely at least worth a look of a person's time and that uh, if they are really serious and want to get somewhere in the games industry to at least give it a try and that's how I feel.